Tov, Hashem, we're approaching Hanukkah. So a little bit of Alachot Hanukkah. We'll speak today just about the time of lighting Nerot Hanukkah. Okay? So the Gemara, in the time of the Gemara, there was no watches. So basically, Chachamim based themselves on certain times that was known at that time. So for example, for Shabbat. Where, how do you know it's Shabbat starting? In the olden days, there was no watch. So the Gemara says, when you see the sun on top of the trees, it's like, like, it's standing on top of the trees, you know it's already, it's, man, it's approaching Shkia, and you have to accept Shabbat, okay? They had all kinds of simanim of Zman. When it comes to Hanukkah, when it comes to Hanukkah, right? The Zman, of, it didn't say the Zman of Adlaka, it says how long is the Adlaka? So when is the Zman Adlaka? The Zman Adlaka, we know it starts when it's Tzeta Kohavim, when the stars come out, okay? Why? The Gemara says, Shraga betihara mai mahane. If you take a candle and you light in the middle of the day, it's going to give you something. It's not going to give you nothing. If you want to light Hanukkah candles and you want people to know it's Hanukkah, you're going to wait, it's tonight. So you have to start, you have to start once the beginning of the night. When does the night officially begin? Tzeta kochavim. Tzeta kochavim. What's Tzeta kochavim? So let's say the Sephardi way. The Sephardi way is Shkia. You have Shkia, the sun is setting. After the sun is setting, you take 13 and a half minutes, and that's Tzeta kochavim. What does it mean the sun setting? Mazeshkia. Mazeshkia. If you would go to the ocean, to the beach, right? At night when there's no people, no one there's people, there's no, no people. And you see the sun touching the horizon, which means the last part of the sun from the top, the top part of the sun is touching the horizon. This is Tehilat shekiah. This is when the sun starts to set. It's not when it's, when you still see it slowly, slowly, gradually going under the line of the horizon. When the last part of the sun is touching the horizon, this is Tehilat shekiah. It's going to take three quarters of a mil, not a mile, that's a kilometer. Mil in the Gemara is a kilometer. A kilometer, a person would walk in 18 minutes. Three quarters is 13 and a half minutes. After 13 and a half minutes of Shekia, after Shekia, it's Sedak Havim. Though you see, Chazonish says, but we see there's a little bit of light outside. This is Sedak Havim. There is already three stars. Maybe you cannot see them, but there is already three stars. Some are more strict. They wait 30 minutes according to Chazonish. Shuchan Abu Harav, they would wait 40 minutes, for example, with Motzei Shabbat. But let's say Sephardi way. The Sephardi way is 13 and a half minutes. Let's say to be strict, Rav Vadio says, to be strict, 20 minutes. So Shekiah, what's Shekiah today? You don't have to go to the beach for Shekiah. Anybody has an application on his phone or in the internet. Shekiah today is something which is written in all sites. You take Kal J, you take Maizmanim. Those are applications that give you exactly the time of Shekiah. So today, for example, Shekiah is 531. Okay, 531. So I know after 531, I count 20 minutes, and it's the beginning of Zman Adakat Nerot, Nerot Shil Hanukkah. So around what? We're talking about around 10 to 6. 10 to 6. 10 to 6, we start lighting Nerot Hanukkah. Now, the, the mitzvah of Hanukkah, according to Rambam, Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, is very interesting, is, very, is a very interesting opinion. The Rambam says, the Zman Adlaka is not more than half an hour. After half an hour, Shil Zman Adlaka, you cannot light anymore in the Council of Hanukkah. That's the only opinion like this. The Rambam is a very special shita. He says, when Shkia, when Tzedak Havim arrived, you have half an hour to light your candle. After that, you cannot light. You miss the night. <coughs> so if I translate it to today, so 10 to 6, I have till 6.20 to light my candles. After 6.20, according to the Rambam, you cannot light candles anymore. Zeshitat Rambam. Temanim. Chimna Rambam. Zeshitat Rambam. Now, we try always to do the best according to all opinions. So that's why a lot of people, we try to do that. We try to do that. Okay? Now, the problem is, it's not always applicable. Why? Sometimes people work till 6. With traffic to get back home, the, guy, the person is not back home for 6.37, right? 
So מה, הוא לא, לא קיים את המצווה? No! שולחן ערוך וואלה זה סס, מצוות ההדלקה כל הלילה. You have the whole night to do הדלקת נרות חנוכה. You want to be a tzedek רמב״ם? אוקיי, so try. If you could, if you can't, you can't. Right? It starts to get more complicated when you have to wait for people. Right? For example, you have to wait for your husband, for your wife, for guests coming out of town. This is where, right? So I'll tell you a story that happened once with the Chafetz Chaim. The Chafetz Chaim went to once to visit his rabbi. The rabbi of the Chafetz Chaim was called Rabbi Nachum of Meordena. Rav Nachum Meordena, one time, the Chafetz Chaim arrived. It was a dlaka, it was the time to light candles of Hanukkah. And the Chafetz Chaim sees that the rabbi doesn't light yet. So they talk, Torah, he's waiting, he's waiting. At the end, after an hour, the wife of Rav Nachum arrived. So the, the Rav Nachum says, okay, quick, let's light the, the candles of Hanukkah. They lit, they sang, they did everything. So the Chafetz Chaim asked his rabbi, Rabbi, don't, why, are we supposed to light right away when it's set up Chavim? He says, yeah. He says, how come we lit so late? He says, because I had to wait, to wait for my wife. He says, what does it mean? You have to wait for your wife? He says, let me explain you something. Adlakat Nerot Chanukah is the Rabbanan or Doraita? Rabbanan, right? Shalom Bait is the Rabbanan or Doraita? Doraita. He says, Shalom Bait, as much as I want to be Yotze, the mitzvah of the Rambam, Shalom Bait is also Doraita. It overcomes. So if you going to light and your wife is not home, she is at work, She went to get the children from school. And he said, no, no, I want to be a tzeh. It's very good to be machmir. But you have to use your sechel sometimes. Sometimes you have to be a little bit smart, right? After that, you're going to fight with your wife. And the whole Hanukkah, you're going to be in a fight. So use your sechel. You have your parents. You have your parents that are coming over, right? And then you have to wait for them. So they're coming from the airport at 7 o'clock. But 6.20 is already the end of this month of the Rambam. Yeah, but you're going to light before your mother-in-law comes. You know what you're going to have all week? Why, 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 why are you going to have all week? Right? Chacham and Av Berosho. You have to have your head sometimes, right? So as much as we want to be Yotze all Shitot, sometimes we have to think, Eve mechashev sechar mitzvah keneged efseda. What do you have to gain? What do you have to lose? So lechatchila, we're trying to be Yotze the Rambam Shita. So right away, as we finish Arvit, as we finish, we're going to do Samuch. Mincha Arvit. We're going to do Samuch so people can go home. If you could light, you could light. If you can, because you're waiting for your wife, your children, to be at the shem, the soon as sooner as possible. The sooner as possible means as long as people still go on the street, as long as traffic on the street, right? If you go to New York, over there traffic is 24 hours. But if you go to certain places after 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, there's no more people passing on the street, right? So try to do it as soon as possible. And be the avad, if you didn't do it, you have the whole night till. Alot HaShachar to light the candles. And the Mishnah Bura says, yeah, but three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, Alot HaShachar, what? With bracha? So he says, Lechatchila, to begin with, try to wake up two people to be up when you light the candles, then you can do bracha. But the Avad, if you don't find two people, Yadlik, you should light. You should not say the bracha, Aval Mishim Adlik, after three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, And he, say, he wants to say the bracha, he doesn't want to lose the bracha, yesh lo al mal ismoch. He can still have his opinions that he can rely on, aval zrizim magdimim la mitzvot. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen ve'amen. <laughs>